Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so welcome to my uh, presentation this afternoon, optimizing and tuning Windows 10 using VMware Horizon um, 7. So I'm just going to pick the pace up initially, um, just so that we stay on time. Um, so my name is Ryan Mangan. Uh, I'm from the UK. Um, I'm a five-year V expert. I focus on end, uh, end user computing, basically desktop PCs, all the way up to VDI and then application. Um, recently, one of my kind of uh, challenges was to migrate a 1981 application over to modern day systems, which um, took a couple of days. So that's my sweet spot, but jumping straight on to the uh, presentation. So when we talk about um, VDI and user computing, um, optimization. So optimization is a, a very big, um, important part of delivering mass uh, users um, to a, a virtual infrastructure. And the reason being is um, if you just deploy defaults, what can happen is you end up wasting resource and costing the business more money. That's one element. The second is the user experience um, can vary from poor to terrible. So looking at optimization as a kind of ecosystem, if you look at the screen, you'll see um, there's the hardware itself, the physical tin in the data center or the cloud, wherever it is, and then the uh, operating system of the hardware, which will be the hypervisor, and then the guest operating system or device used to deliver sessions. Um, today, we're going to predominantly speak about um, guest operating system optimizations, but, um, but just to kind of really quickly run off on hardware and the OS. Uh, hardware, things like power settings, BIOS settings, all of them little things need to be considered um, before just plugging equipment into the rack and turning it on. So just moving on to um, the guest, we're going to talk about the guest operating system. So traditionally a physical PC. Um, a physical PC has a user who logs on one time, it creates a profile, and then every time they log on against that PC, um, they've got the same profile. So the login speed, the initial log on time is fairly slow. Thereafter, um, it speeds up. Obviously, with virtual uh, desktops, you're putting lots of uh, users onto a, a hypervisor. And with that, um, also with some of the configurations assigned, the profile may recreate every time a user logs on. The challenge with that, is that's using CPU cores, the CPU cores of the hypervisor being shared. There's not just one user on that box, whereas a physical PC, it's just a, a one user solution. So when looking at these systems, it is about how you optimize, but also working out sort of capacities. So as I said, a single user, shared resource. Uh, One-time actions can impact the user at the first time, however, after that, the user sees improved performance. However, with virtual desktops, depending on how it's configured, but most uh, often, you'll find that the same one-time tasks will be run every single time the user logs on. So if possible, you should try and ensure these are included in the initial um, base image. So why optimize? What are the real benefits of optimization? So trimming, these are actual facts from VMware and also from some of our internal testing. Um, trimming the gold image can reduce up to 80% of the disk space. Obviously, storage has a, a high value these days. Again, pool deployment, if your disks are smaller, spinning up new desktops in a pool is three times faster. And then also, having low um, disk size can also improve CPU and actual overall deployment time. So, Traditionally, 30 seconds to log in without optimizations. We've seen 2.5 uh, seconds to 8.5 seconds after optimization. So traditionally active memory, uh, two gig of use, uh, utilization. This can, when it's optimized, can be reduced down to one or 50% depending on what you're doing. So another one is CPU. This is one of the, the biggest contentions on the hypervisor. This can be reduced by 40% by optimizing. And then finally, one of the most expensive parts of IT infrastructure is the storage. By reducing this down, not only does it improve um, storage space, um, you get improvement in IOPS because the image is, let's say, a quarter of the size. A lot more of that image can be cached, which improves performance again. So that's great, and that's all uh, you know, statistics. But how do you benchmark? How do you test? How do you see uh, what the performance is? So uh, there's a product called Login VSI, which is um, 
is a benchmarking load testing tool. I recommend that you use a tool like this, similar to this, or Login VSI, to before optimizations and after optimizations uh, benchmark your deployments. This will give you a VSI max, but and what that means is the VSI max is number of desktops you can have on per host. Obviously, bigger the number, more desktops you can have. On this demo, there's over 140 desktops can be on one host. So after optimization here, you can see that there was an increase in number of desktops uh, on that box. Um, and if you're not too familiar with Login VSI, you can see after it's done its load test, it marks out roughly uh, how many desktops you can have on the hypervisor. So you didn't really come for me to read out some statistics. You obviously wanted to kind of learn a bit more about optimization. So Windows 10, um, if you look here, you'll see Windows 8 and Windows 10 on there. You'll notice that on a mandatory, uh, mandatory profile deployment, um, the profile login duration is 4.5 seconds. When we jump into Windows 10, it goes up to eight seconds on enterprise and then on the long-term servicing branch, um, seven seconds. So straight out of the box, we can see there is um, an increase in login duration. as we can see. So how do we optimize what should we start with? Well, we spoke about the physical hardware itself, but also the guest operating system has hardware attached to itself. It's a virtual hardware. However, it still needs to be considered. So first of all, you spin up a virtual machine, you install Windows operating system on it, Windows 10. You then um, open up the, well, you shut it down, you open up the VM, and then you remove the hardware you do not need. So change the network card to VMX3 is recommended, remove anything else, and then also disable the hot plug functionality. Then again, also boot into BIOS, and then disable the uh, legacy uh, functions like the I.O., so that's parallel, floppy disk, and uh, serial connectors. Um, and that will also reduce the effort on the, the virtual hardware. Then moving on to the Windows update. So, one of the, the biggest issues with image deployment and optimization is there's no cleanup of the Windows updates. People run the Windows updates, and then they just carry on normally, recreate the image and deploy. Um, what needs to happen, really, is once you run the Windows updates, you need, need to run the engine uh, and also DISM to clean up. What this does, basically, is it, it reorganizes all the file structures and also removes any old repositories of Windows update, which, A, reduces the disk size, but also makes the operating system run faster. Um, and as you can see here, there's a few commands. Uh, if you want to take pictures of them, I'll leave it on for a couple more seconds. Um, and also, with Windows 10, there's a new uh, command called compact, compact uh, always. And basically, that's just a quicker way of reducing down the OS. Group policy with Windows 10. Some of the challenges you'll see with that is um, the traditional Windows 10 design for desktop PCs, not for VDI um, or session. So really, you've got to get into there and remove things like uh, show first signing all the way down to hide all notifications because all of these individual components have an impact onto the virtual infrastructure. This is a biggie. A lot of people don't realize this or even contend with this. It's clean up disk space. So first focus is once you've done all of what you want to do on the operating system, you need to start cleaning up. So going back in time, disk cleanup is the first tool you need to run. And then my recommendation is um, to use SysInternal's uh, sdelete tool. And what this does is it zeroes out the disk and cleans up any space, and then you can shrink the actual VMDK in VMware. So that would bring down a 40 gig disk down to 10 gig, um, and obviously maybe possibly further. Optimizations, again, talking about um, VMware produced um, a fling a few years back, uh, the optimization tool. This is uh, now becoming the norm, not just in VMware, but all of the other vendors are using VMware's tool, which is a bit of a stinger. Uh, and you can also create your own optimization configurations in there. So for example, if you didn't like some of the default operations uh, or optimizations included in the default, you can build your own profile, which suits your environment. OK, so as you can see here, there's the VMware um, Windows 10 VDI Like a Pro. This is obviously perfected by the guys at Login VSI and um, the forums. Uh, that's one to consider. I've got to pick up the speed because I've got a minute left. 
So the final uh, piece is application sprawl. So the biggest problem you've got once you've got your gold image sorted is every user wants their applications on, on the image. That can obviously create all sorts of problems, managing all these 5,400 5, images, all of them challenges. What do we do? Um, there's various different tools out there. The first one is um, do, all your do all your users need all the applications on the image? No, they don't. Um, can we, how do we do this? You can deliver remote apps, HTML5, uh, other legacy application deployment tools, FinApp. Um, one of them I will recommend today to kind of look at it is the cloud paging technologies where you open up a client and if you want that application, it's streamed to the desktop for that session. When you finish with that application, it then goes away. It's not on that operating system. So moving forward as you know, from the presentation this morning, there is still a lot of clunky things which uh, the industry needs to sort out. But the biggest issue you have is how you deliver them applications to that image once you level the baseline. So summary, three types of optimization. Benefits of optimizing, uh, benchmarking. Um, today I've used the example of uh, logging VSI. Uh, I'll give you an insight into VMware Gold Image optimization, uh, and then also watch out for application sprawl. Any questions? Thank you very much.